Well, sustainable city will be driven all, always by, by two entities, the private sector and the government. The government have the role to make sure that the developers who are investing in those green cities, renewable cities, uh, get the return on investment. And this will only be done if they have regulations, and these regulations are really mandated by uh, uh, the people who will be using those facilities after that. And uh, at the end of the day, the norms that they have to put to actually uh, uh, reach to this level of green cities or sustainable cities. So these two things only the government can do. Nobody can affect the norms or, or influence the norms, and nobody can influence the regulations unless it is derived from the government. On the private sector side, uh, when we talk about the Middle East area and specifically the Gulf, um, the, the spectrum of people living in households is different than the rest of the world. So you find here more expats than people who actually own the properties, which means that the urge to invest in a renewable energy solution in their households is not really attractive unless there is a big incentive or if the, the city itself was designed to be to, or to work like that. So we have a couple of examples now in, in the region for, for such cities. And, and it shows here that the, the role of the developers and the consultants who do the designs for such cities is really important. And this, is, and this can only be derived also from the private sector. So these two entities have to collaborate with each other to reach really the, the, the advancement of, of green cities.